Hey YouTube, let's talk mobile hunting stand for, for just a few minutes here. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I've been using all season and uh, something I'm pretty excited about. It's worked out great for me so far. I've got, you know, if I had to guess, probably about 50 sits so far in it this year. And uh, I think it's probably my favorite stand I've ever hunted in. Um, now it's, it is probably my most expensive stand that I've ever hunted with as well. <laughs> so, you know, maybe that kind of goes hand in hand a little bit, but uh, I'm, I'm a real big fan of this setup for this year and I uh, can't wait to talk about it. So give me just a few minutes here. Let me get everything laid out and then We'll get to talking. Okay, guys, here's my stand. This is the one I've been using all year. This thing's worked out great for me so far. Um, just going to talk a little bit about things I've done to it and what it is. So this is, of course, it's a Lone Wolf Custom Gear 0.5, and I've upgraded the seat to a 0.75 uh, size seat. So the seat's a little bigger than what normally comes on this thing. I actually have a, a seat on order from them. Um, this is the mesh style seat, kind of like you see on Millenniums. Uh, I just haven't received it yet. It's actually like a five week. Uh, wait time whenever you order one of those. I ordered about two weeks ago. So here coming up pretty soon I should get it and then I'll make another video. You know, I'll install it and I'll see how I like it and I'll let you guys know in case you're thinking about buying the same thing. Um, I just have the Lone Wolf backpack straps on here. You can buy any backpack straps for this thing. I mean I just get on Amazon and get you a cheap pair. I think that's one of the best upgrades you can make for a mobile hunting stand just because uh it, like wider straps like that are gonna make your stand feel lighter even if it's a heavier stand. Um, this one only weighs, let's see, I wrote it down here. This stand weighs seven pounds, like, like it is right now, just ready to hunt. Um, the, you know, that's backpack straps. That's everything. Seven pounds. I think Lone Wolf's website actually says, I don't know exactly what it says, but it doesn't say seven pounds. It says something lighter than that. Okay. But realistically ready to hunt like this, you're looking at about seven pounds for this thing. Um, the attachment method that I really like, uh, that I, that I just got into this year is called the uh, USA. It's the ultimate stand attachment. You can find this on Backwoods Mobile Gear's website. Uh, I think it's uh, double, double steps com, something like that. So let me just show you how quick and easy this is. I usually climb up to hunting height and I'll just take my stand. See, seven pounds. That's why I don't really care about the weight, the actual number, because if it's light enough that I can just hold it out like that straight without it killing my shoulder, then I think it's light enough to hunt with, okay? So I'll reach around the tree there. I'll grab my the other side of my, let me make sure you can see. I'll grab the other side of my, my USA. I'll wrap it around my Versa button, just like that. And just make sure this, this uh, uh, trucker's hitch is on this side of my, my tree so I can get to it. I'll put into my, um, my USA through the hitch and I'll pull it tight. Now on the end of this thing is a, is a Prusik knot with a Prusik tender on it so that whenever you, you just hook both of these loops over your Versa button like that, and then you pull the end of the rope and it tightens it right down, then you're done. So real quick and easy, I'll just get up in it usually and uh, toe hook it just like everybody does, put my knee up here, cam my stand down, and this thing's got really aggressive uh, teeth on the actual uh, tree cleat itself, so this thing doesn't doesn't move around. I mean, this is probably the tightest I've ever been able to get a stand. Uh, sort of like I, I don't know what, how else you would have to have like a ratchet strap to get it tighter than this. I think this thing is is perfect. I really enjoy it, um, and I probably will continue to use this until I find something that just blows it out of the water. I can't really see there being much of a better upgrade out there than than one of these. It's very lightweight, keeps your stand tight to the tree, and uh, it's easy to tighten up. Um, so to take it off, I'll show you real quick. You just use your fingers and, and slide this proof knot down towards your Versa button here. Pull it off. Pull it back through that, that hitch there. Pull it through like that. And she's off the tree. There you go. And when my friend first showed me, because he's the one that turned me on to this, when he first showed me how to do that, I was like, man, that seems complicated. But after doing it like twice, then I was like, okay, wow, that's very easy. And I'm a huge fan of it. So there you go. Very lightweight. One of my favorite things that I upgraded on the stand. Um, not much else I can say about it. So these straps here are also, just real quick, last thing. These came with my backpack that um, I got from Backwoods Mobile Gear. It's a it's called a hitchhiker. It comes with these straps. And I just put them on here. That way I can attach my... Uh, sticks to the back of my stand wherever I'm walking in and out of the woods. Okay, so that's it on the stand. Thing's pretty awesome. Big fan of it. And uh let's move on.
Hey guys, the next thing I want to show you here is my my sticks that I've been using. These are the double step sticks from Lone Wolf Custom Gear. Super lightweight. Uh, two of these with this big aider and the USA, the ultimate stick attachment mods that I put on them. Two of them together, which will get you up to you know about 18 feet on you know that's that's been my luck with it. Uh, now I'm six foot tall and I like to put pretty big gap between everything, but 18 feet is uh is pretty average. Um, but two of these sticks to get you up that high is only going to weigh five pounds. These things are super lightweight. I'm a big fan of them. Uh, that's what I've been using all year, like I said. And I didn't know these were on the market, so I'm making this video so that now if you see this, you'll know they're on the market too. They're pretty awesome. I normally will come up to the tree with this first one, and I'll reach up as high as I can like that. And might have to change my camera angle. No, you should be able to tell. So there's my, my bottom step right there, okay? So I can step right up into it. I like to keep it around knee height which is about what it is right there you can probably kind of tell it's about knee height and then that's going to get me up i can't reach the top stick right here so it's going to get me about i don't know seven and a half eight feet maybe I don't, I don't really know how high that is but it's pretty high okay um and then i just you know go up from there i do the same thing from the top of this stick but let me slide it down and talk about how easy this attachment method is so i will usually just reach around the tree this is the same as my stand i'll come around like this and i'll loop around my Versa button, just like that. And then the same as the stand, I'll go back through the hitch here and I'll come around. Now this one doesn't have the, the Prusik tender and all that stuff on, I think because it's such thin am steel, I don't know if you'd really be able to get a Prusik knot to work really well on this. So what I do is I just loop it to where it's pulling under itself like that. And I hook the wing here, I pull that tight like that. I do it again, just loop it. Pull the wing there and then and there she is all right it's not going anywhere these things are super tight let me, let me climb up into it let's see if it goes down at all maybe about a quarter inch there and uh got yeah, this thing now that i've stood on it it's even even tighter um i haven't had any problem with this thing loosening it up just even just looping it like that around the, the wings on the sticks um it's been great for me so far the, uh, the standoffs here is just a simple bolt. The good thing about that is, say you bend one for some reason, which I don't know how you would. These things are, I think they're like, uh, maybe, what would I say? Probably three eighths inch bolts coming out of the back of this thing. So they're, they're very strong, and, which gives you a lot of uh, adjustment too, as far as changing the, uh, the standoff from the tree. I'll actually pull it off the tree and show you that in a second. But um, if you do bend one, you can just, unscrew it from the from the stick here and then replace it with another one so you don't have to work there's no more broken um broken tree standoffs and then having to call the company and order more okay so to take it off you just reach in here and loosen this bad boy up here just like that bring it back through your hitch around from the versa button and it's off the tree nice quick and easy and it saved me a lot of time this year because I used to hunt with like three or four full size sticks. So every stick you have to stop and put the stick on the tree, right? So I, I would stop four times and go up the tree. This I only stopped twice. I put one up, climb to the top of it, reach as high as I can, put another one up, climb to the top of it, and I'm at hunting height. So it saved me a lot of time this year and I'm a big fan of it. These, uh, tell you one more cool thing about this. This is the ultimator here that you can find on Backwoods Mobile Gear website. So what I'll do, when I'm at the bottom of the tree and I'm getting ready for pack up, I just loop this thing around my stick a few times. So I, I like going from the bottom like that. There's a lot of ways you could do this. I'm not going to get real specific because you'll figure it out if you ever get some. End up around the versa button like that. And the ends have these this uh, bungee cord on it. And then I'll just loop it around and hook it on the end of my stick like that. And then it's there. So this is up out of the way. It's not going to fall off. Everything's good with it. I'll reach down to the bottom, I'll grab my bottom step, I'll grab all three steps so they're in my hand like that, then I'll turn it, put it on the face of the stick, like that, kind of bunch this up to where it's good to go, and then you can wrap this around your, your stick, like that, with the other piece of cord, and then it's there, okay? And uh, so actually, whenever I'm really packing up, and I want to strap these things together and put them on my stand which i'll go ahead and show you that real quick i'll take my other stick 
and I'll put it on the which way am I going here? There we go. I'll lay them flat against each other like that. You see how flat they lay? And then I'll do the same thing like that. Stack it on the front of the other one. Match them up. Just like that. Make sure they're all nice and tight. And then I'll take the, the loop of bungee cord and I'll go around the, both of them at the same time and then end over there. Now I've got my two sticks together. And they're good to go. And then whenever I want to, when I get to my next tree the next day or that morning or evening or wherever I'm hunting, I'll just undo it. And then my other stick is ready. You saw how it just, the uh, ultimator just falls out and it's ready to be put on the tree. My other one is still bungee corded onto itself. So then I'll take the, the uh, little piece of paracord here that I have on top of it. And I'll hook that one on my, my climbing belt or my saddle or whatever I'm, I'm climbing with that day. So this right here is all you need to get up to about 18 feet to hunt with. And it's my new favorite climbing method for sure for mobile hunting. Nice and lightweight, quick and easy. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be upgrading for a really long time. So, all right, let's move on to the uh, backpack here. I'm not really going to show you what's inside of it, I don't think, because most of you guys have been hunting for a while and you got your own set up, the things you like to take. So just talk about the backpack itself and then we'll move on. So onward. Okay, let's talk about the backpack here. This is uh, another really cool piece of gear that I picked up this year. You see how small and compact it is? I mean, on my test, very small. Um, the thing that I like about this, now, well, first let me tell you what it is. This is a hitchhiker from Backwoods Mobile Gear, okay? Um, it's, it's a pretty new product from them. Um, now, you could probably get the same thing on Amazon, something similar to this for about the same price, but this is the only backpack that I've seen that has all these attachments for your your backpack straps here okay so you can actually see the backpack straps have the same attachment method so you can mix and match this backpack and make it how you want so these straps just have i just have two of these on each side and I, this is what i use to actually attach it to my stand if i'm stand hunting and then if i'm i left my backpack straps on because if i'm hunting out of a saddle I'll have this thing on my back. I'm going to put it on my front so I can talk a little bit. I'll have this thing on my back and then I'll put my saddle uh, platform and my sticks right here on the front of it. And then I'll just use the same straps and go around them and clip it. And then I there's a strap on top too that I'll run through the top of my saddle platform and then clip to itself like that so that it can't fall down. And then this keeps it everything it wraps around it keeps everything from, from wobbling around and making noise so you can actually tighten it down you know just zip these down and, and make it really tight and then i can walk in with just this tiny little backpack with those little five pound sticks and my my uh my saddle platform that i use is a uh predator platform the regular size one not the xl but the just the regular pre predator platform and uh works great with this this thing is a uh, it's a deer killing machine. I tell you what, I, I'm really, uh, I'm really digging this this setup this year. So, just figured I'd give you a quick look at it. Of course, you see, uh, I showed you already. I took so this thing comes with like five sets of these all over it, and you just kind of mix and match how you want it. Um, the other cool part about it is, it comes with these in the back, underneath it, and what this is for is so you can unclip these. You can route this like say you're a saddle hunter you can route this through your saddle to where they hang down and whenever you're climbing up this thing's so lightweight that you can have these clips hanging off your saddle and you can just clip your backpack onto that and use it like a uh like a hip pouch basically you know what i mean um i don't use it like that because what i prefer to do is hang my backpack when i get up there anyway and it's kind of feel like that's a couple extra steps but if it's something you prefer it's it's a really good option um what i do with it is say either whether i'm hunting out of a saddle or i'm hunting with just my rock climbing harness um, i'll take the same strap that i would that i showed you on top earlier that i used to clip in my saddle platform and i just run that through one of the loops on my belt and clip it to itself and then it just hangs like that off my off my rock climbing harness and i'll climb up into my tree and i'll get everything i'll pull up my my bow and get it all set up and then i can actually unzip my pack here and grab my like my gear strap is here on the outside and grab my orange gear strap and put it around the tree 
I can turn my thermocell on and hang it up. I can do everything I need to do out of my backpack that's on my hip. It's very easily uh, accessible. And then once I have everything out of it that I need, then I can just unclip it like that, pull it through my belt, and then I can hang it up or do whatever I want with it. So this thing is awesome. It's been great for me so far this year. Um, even if you didn't want to spend the money on this exact backpack, just the concept alone of, of having you know something small that you can hang off your, your hip that holds all your stuff in here, is a uh, is a great idea i'm a big fan of it and i think it's uh it's probably going to be like the future of, of my hunting style let me open this thing up here yeah see i just kind of have my my bow pull up rope in here i have my uh my lineman's belt in here already too so everything i need to hunt is in here i just pull my lineman's belt out pull my pull up rope out of this thing i'll hook my bow up put it on this side of my belt tied to my to myself I'll put my alignment belt around the tree. I'll hook my backpack off of me. And then I don't have anything else on the ground that I need to pull up. Like I used to pull up my backpack with my bow. Now I don't have to do that. I just climb with it. It's nice and lightweight. This hangs off my hip. All my stuff is right here with me. And then get to the hunting height and take out whatever I need and, and hang this thing up and I'm good to go. So only been hunting with this thing for, since this year started. So probably got, I don't know, I'd say uh maybe around 50 hunts with it so far and it's been working great so if i have any problems with it i'll update you but so far it's been good so onward all right guys now that the video is done i wanted to show you just kind of how i pack everything back together once i get done hunting and climb back down to the bottom of my tree so i'll climb down to the bottom of my tree i'll undo my pull-up rope from my bow i'll put it back in my backpack i'll take my lineman's belt off put it back in my backpack i've already showed you how i Put my sticks together okay i'll put my sticks together like this lean them up i take my stand here flip my seat around fold it flat like this and this is what i showed you about how i said the this the uh seat doesn't quite match up on this bigger seat to the, the smaller stand but you just kind of push it sideways and it slides right in there like that i'll take my usa ultimate stand attachment and i'll just loop it around itself like this i'll loop these uh let me pull this out a little bit i'll loop it around the uh stand itself there that only takes a few times like that and then the end of this also has a uh, piece of bungee cord on it so i'll just finish it off like that put that back to itself just out of the way a little bit i'll take my sticks and i'll just lay them up there like that and then like i said before this strap that came with the Hitchhiker, I'll just clip that. Looks like I might have tightened it up a little bit while I was doing the video. Trying to show you guys, so pretty tight, but it's tight is actually a good thing. It keeps it from rattling around. So not much that can really make a lot of noise on that thing. Then I'll take my stand here, or my sorry, <laughs> I'll take my backpack and I'll lay it on my stand. And then I'll take the same straps I was talking about earlier, and I'll just go through the stand here like that. Clip it to itself on the back side. Now I just pick this up, put it on my back, and move my camera up so you can see it. Pick it up, put it on my back like that, and start walking. All right, pick my bow up, of course. Don't leave your bow. That's not a good idea. Start walking out, and this thing is uh, feels comfortable. I haven't had any problems with it yet. Like I said, it's my favorite hunting setup I've ever had, and uh, there's not enough good things I can say about this thing. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, I, I showed you, I didn't show you my saddle platform, but it's basically just a platform. There's not much to show. I was more excited about the, the stand here that I've been using, and especially with the, uh, the ultimate stick attachment, the USA, uh, am steel mod from, uh, from backwoods mobile gear. It's been great for me so far this year. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please give it a like and, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this kind of stuff. And, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys around. If you see anything that you disagree with or you have questions about, Feel free to leave a comment down there. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty good about answering people's questions and uh, I, I really like to learn new stuff. So if you have a different idea about things, let me know and uh, maybe we can learn together. So appreciate you guys watching. Tune in for the next video and uh, you guys have a good day.